Hey everyone, Welk welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an amazing tutorial lined up for you. We're going to walk you through the process of creating an SSH slot SSL TLL server payload and setting it up on the NetMod VPN app. This setup will help you achieve faster speeds and a more secure web connection. For more VPN updates and hidden tricks, be sure to visit our blog. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. First, open your browser and search for SSH Ocean. In the search results, click on the official link to reach the website's homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look to the upper right corner and click on the menu button to expand the list. Select Services, and a new window will pop up. From there, click on SSH and then SSH Stunnel at the top of the server list you'll see a new page with various server locations. Choose the location that best suits your needs. Make sure the server you select is available and online. Once you've made your choice, click on the Create button. Now you've reached the final page. Here you'll need to create your account. Enter your desired username and password, complete the CAPTCHA, and click the Create Now button. In just a few seconds, your server account will be ready. Be sure to copy the host or IP address, username, password, and payload for future use. Next, let's move on to the NetMod VPN app. Go to the Google Play Store on your device and search for NetMod VPN. Click on the app in the search results, then hit the Install button to download it onto your device. Once the app is installed, click Open to launch it. On the app's home screen, click the upper left hamburger icon to expand the menu list. In the list, select the plugin icon for SSH mode. This will open a new appearance on the home page of the app. First, copy the server payload from the website into the payload box. Below that, enter a valid SNI bug host, if available, for a faster internet connection. For example, I'll use www.facebook.com here. You'll see three checkboxes for SSH, SSL, and proxy. You can use one or all of them at the same time, but in this video we won't add a proxy, so we'll check the SSH and SSL boxes. Now, click the hamburger icon again to expand the menu list and select SSH Profile. A new appearance will show you an empty profile. Click the small page icon with a plus sign at the top and a new window will pop up. Here you can input the data you have from the server you created on the website to create your SSH SSL TLS profile. In the remarks, enter any name for the SSH profile. Paste the host IP address, this is important. Keep in mind to write port 143 or 443 when using SSH and SSL at the same time. If you're using SSH only, then put port 80. In this video, we're using SSH and SSL both, so write port 143. Paste the username and password in their respective fields. Once everything is added correctly, click Add to save. Once the SSH profile is created, go back to the bottom and click the Play button to connect to the secure web connection. There you have it. We successfully connected the SSH SSL TLS server on the NetMod VPN app. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it. Thanks for watching.